All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening from wherever you are. Welcome so much to Zimax Media right here. My name is Zima and uh, today we're doing this show unmasked. Last time I had a mask, so I took off my mask this time around. So I have got some good news here for, for us. Uh, we have what is called charter flights from the Kenya Airways. And just before we continue, just before we continue, if you haven't subscribed, please, I give you 10 seconds to please do so down there. Just click down there, subscribe button and the bell icon. You'll be the first to get every notification. Anything comes up. Yep. Uh, from Paris to Dubai, Khartoum, Johannesburg. All these are charter flights. And please, let's get this uh, right. This is charter flights, not just any other flight. Charter flights is for specific people only. So we have charter flights from Paris, Dubai, Khartoum, Johannesburg, and I'm going to to just show you the requirements for these flights, the dates, when are they happening, from what dates to what date. Uh, just to, to read for you here the KQ uh, information here, what they have to say. They say, we are here to support you when you need to fly home and understand these situations can be difficult. As such, Kenya Airways offers you an opportunity to unite with your loved ones. That's the statement there, uh, as you see just right there on your screen. So let's begin with the Nairobi Paris. From last time video I did, I covered this one slightly, though I didn't cover the requirements and all that. Nairobi Paris will be from 7th July and Paris Nairobi 8th July 2020. So what are the requirements for these flights? All guests are required to arrange for COVID-19 tests. That's a must. Guests can be tested at any Lancet lab at fee of 8,000 shillings. That's your own, uh, at your own cost. Uh, yeah. COVID-19 tests need to be done within 72 hours of the flight. So you need to do the, 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 the test of COVID-19 within 72 hours. Uh, number four, you need to present uh, the medical test results at check-in and must be negative. So when you're going to fly, you go with the, uh, the medical report that I am negative. If you are positive, you won't be allowed to go. Number five, your voluntary 14-day quarantine in the residence of your choice or where appropriate, in an appropriate accommodation structure. That's for travelers outside the European area. Yeah, and other requirements are, are, are right there. So, uh, requirements from Paris to Nairobi, requirements from Paris to Nairobi right here. Flights to Kenya are only open to Kenyan citizens, only for Kenyan citizens flying back home. Same requirements are COVID-19 tests, a copy of the medical results, and should be negative. Uh, government guidelines that all guests will be quarantined at their own cost for 14 to 28 days. So quarantine is a must, 14 to 28 days. Uh, some people asking about quarantine, so right there you have it. Yeah, and you will just visit the site right there for more information. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Nairobi, Johannesburg, once the 9th of July, this this month. Requirements for Nairobi to Johannesburg. Flights is only open to South African citizens. Only South African citizens, permanent residents, and those with valid work permits. So, if you aren't among those three, you won't be allowed. All guests are required to arrange for COVID-19 test. Same thing. Eight thousand shillings. Uh, to be done within 72 hours of the flight. Yeah, same thing again, medical results should be negative right there. Requirements for Johannesburg Monza flight. Guests are required to arrange for their own test. Same, same thing right there. Uh, another one here is Nairobi, Dubai. I've got so many questions for, uh, at the comment sections, people asking about the Dubai flight. So right here we have Nairobi, Dubai, 11th of July, 2020 this month, 11th of July. The requirements for Nairobi, Dubai, flights are open to Kenyan citizens only, those flying back home. Number two, all guests required to arrange for their own COVID-19 test again, and they should be negative. Mandatory quarantine of 14 to 28 days at their own cost. So the government isn't paying for you, it's your own cost right there. And uh, again here, you, you click at that link there, I'll down there for more uh, for government facilities available to do the test. 
Nairobi uh, Dubai or oh, Dubai Nairobi okay this should be actually should be Nairobi Dubai because uh, is there was a slight mistake here Nairobi Dubai the flights only open to Dubai citizens permanent residents those with valid work permits so number one it's only for Dubai citizens permanent residents and those with valid work permits number two again COVID-19 takes the must 8,000 shillings to be paid right there and it should be within uh, 72 hours of the flight oh and again you should be negative yeah COVID-19 negative and I think the last one here the last one here Nairobi Khartoum is Sudan 6th of July just uh, two days from now or a day from now actually requirements again flight is only open to Kenyan citizen and residents with valid permits that's number one again should be COVID-19 test uh, uh, they, they should arrange for their own COVID-19 test, a copy of the medical result and they should be negative and there will be quarantine at your own cost for 10 to 28 days in Nairobi Khartoum. Click there for a list of government quarantine facilities available. Requirements for Nairobi Khartoum, flight is only open to Sudan citizens, permanent residents and those with valid work permits. Same, same thing right there. So that's what we have for now. Uh, we have the the prices right there, prices there from Nairobi to Johannesburg 91,825, Khartoum, Nairobi 8,735. Uh, I think uh, the most expensive here is Nairobi to CDG, Paris 139,105, right there. From Paris CDG to Nairobi 99,430 shillings. So you can book it right there on the KQ website, kq.com, right there. Yeah, and just one more thing before I leave. Yeah, the latest information from the KQ, this is something I was to tell you before I began this. This is the latest information from the KQ. This is their statement here. Kenya Airways, this is very, very important to note. Hello, we are looking forward to resumption of scheduled services once the air space is open. Please check our platforms after 7th of July for an update. Uh, 7th of July, updates from Kenya Airways. So we'll be right here to give you every, every update whatever thing comes up you're here to give it to you so for now that's all we have and don't forget to subscribe down there and hit that bell icon for more notifications and updates i'm zima thank you and goodbye i'll be back with more news